Okay, let's take a look at the FTK Imager Lite uh, version uh, 3.1.1. Uh, there's a download now link, um, so I'll click that. I'm actually right clicking it and opening a new window so I don't lose that um, folder. And it, uh, in my um, browser here, it's putting it down in the lower left hand corner. And it looks like it's done. So I'll right click on that, say show in folder. And um, let's see if I can identify what works at. There it is, Imager Lite. So I'm going to right click on that and choose copy. And then I'm going to put it into my temporary folder rather than put my files. So I'll paste that, right click, choose paste. Now I'll right click on that and choose extract all. And click extract. Okay, now after that gets done, you'll have a folder for Imager Lite. So if you double click that, um, there's nothing to install here. So you see the FTK Imager.exe down there? Yeah, double click that. And um, mine's giving me a, um, an inf information here. Uh, prevent an unrecognized app from starting. Run this app might put your PC at risk. I'll click more info. And uh, then I'll click run anyway. And um, I'll say yes. This isn't a virus. Access data is a, <laughs> it's a valid, um, valid program. And that's how you get your um, uh, access data FTK imager um, installed and uh, up and up and running.